Hi guys and ladies, it's midwinter in northern Ohio yet. Look, it's warm. There's no ice on the lake. The water is muddy and my boat is literally up on box. So how am I going to fish? I can't even ice fish. How can I do this recipe I found online? Well, let's start with this little John boat. I guess in Spanish it would be a Juan boat or even a Juanello boat. So let's try catching a fish. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Oh no. I'm gonna to have to row today. I hate exercise, but I need fish. And so I'm gonna start out with this. This is a one 32nd ounce jig and some little mealworms. Let's see if anything goes for it. I can't believe I caught a fish in this muddy water, but I did. Oh my goodness, it's a crappie, but hey, I'll take it. We could use it. All right. <laughs> I think I got a little bass. <laughs> well, it's possible to catch fish in muddy water. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they're running big. A long time has passed since that first fish. <laughs> you don't have to cast very far. Uh, the water's muddy anyway. The fish aren't going to see you, and there's all these overhanging branches that you might get caught in. Not that it ever happens to me, but, you know, amateurs do. <laughs> uh, I got a bluegill, a little bluegill. Too small to fillet. <laughs> It came out. <laughs> Looky here, I've got two nice crappie. That's four fillets. They're not my favorite fish, but they'll do well in this recipe. Plus, I have a lot of fish in the freezer that I could use. So let's get back in the house and fillet these. I can't believe I fished open water January 20th. Let's get back in. Looky here, we have over a half pound of crappie fillets from our outing yesterday. And wait, I have here over a pound of bass perch and bluegill fillets from my freezer that we can use. You know, I've been missing a good creamy fish casserole recipe from my repertoire, and I think I found it now. So let's get going. So I've got all this fish, but the directions are not clear. They say I'm supposed to cut the fish into serving size pieces, but what is a serving size piece? Maybe like this? Well, that's it. One and a half pounds of fish in serving size pieces, whatever that means. Into this skillet, I'm gonna put, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Then my hope is to fry these little tiny broccoli florets. I've never cooked broccoli in my life, let alone fry it. It seems a little bit charred on certain sides, but I've never fried broccoli. I don't know, it smells good. It smells like I know what I'm doing here in this house. Mmm, let me cover it. Maybe it'll wilt down a little more. I want it a little more wilty. Now I've got Hey, this is two weeks in a row. A big casserole dish, and I'm gonna use butter spray on it. It's just to melt butter on it, but yeah, you know that's hard. This is easy. Let's preheat our oven to 400. 
I got a bunch of green onions, uh, spring onions, scallions, and I chopped these finely. I'm going to add them now. How about this? I've got two or three tablespoons of drained capers. Let's put those in there. Maybe I'll smash them a little. Bring out that saltiness. Speaking of salt, I have a teaspoon here of salt, some fresh ground pepper. Okay, I'm gonna put this in our greased baking dish. How's that? I'm gonna make a little sauce now. I have one and a quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. And look, here's a big heaping tablespoon of Dijon mustard, Dijon. Let's put that in the cream. And now look, one tablespoon of this freeze-dried parsley. It says dried parsley, but there's no taste in dried parsley. You could probably get away with fresh. It would be better maybe. So let's just mix it up. And that's our sauce. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread the fish out in between the broccoli or wherever. Crazy casserole. Now I'm going to pour our cream over the top. Let's see what happens. Let's add a little bit more around the edges. Here's a half a stick of butter. You see what I did? I sliced it up. Let's, let's put little patties all around it. Pats, pats, not patties. I've got our butter all spread around. Mm -mm -mm. Now all I need to do is put it in the oven. I'm gonna put this in the oven now for like 20 minutes, maybe a little longer because I wanna make sure the fish is cooked. This is kind of funny. I just studied the picture of this recipe and if you look really close, a serving size piece of fish is a big slab. And here I am chopping it. I think it'll be all right though. While our casserole is in the oven, I might as well let you all know the famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, has accepted my invitation for dinner tonight. Well, you know, we've been seeing each other for decades, yet she doesn't seem all too interested in marriage. Maybe I should try to steer her thoughts toward matrimony tonight. We'll see. It's been over 20 minutes. Let's get our casserole out. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks better than I thought it would. Here's another thing not in the recipe. I just had this brainstorm. It does look good. But what if I add about eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese to the top? Would that hurt it? Would cheese hurt? I don't think cheese would hurt. Let's do it. Now this baby's going back in the oven for about five minutes to melt and brown the cheese. It's been another five minutes with the cheese. Let's get it out. <laughs> it's bubbling. A bubbling heap of heaven. Oh my goodness, it, it looks good. I got a little fork. Before she gets here, I'm gonna try some of this. Fish, broccoli, cheese. <laughs> oh, this is a hit. No doubt about it. Oh, one of my best ever. Mm, gotta have this. <clears throat> well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me today at my uh, deficient double wide. And you uh, dined on my creamy fish and broccoli casserole. And what did you think? Oh, it was very good. It was very tasty and it was... Um, I love cheese, as you know. Oh, yeah. That was a last, group. last yes. second edition. It was very good. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, it's okay to call you sure. Lulu. Oh, sure. thank you. Um, what is the first thing to come to your mind when you hear those two words, I do? Uh, you're done. Uh, um, can I have a hug?